Hello and thanks for checking out the video here today. My name is Travis Olson, creator of AgentBreakthrough.com and what I'm going to cover today is how to create your own custom action plans using Top Producer 8i. Now I use custom action plans for everything I do in real estate. Anything from a price change to a listing to a closing to any type of follow-up that you want to have. Uh, it's, it's a really nice tool to be able to uh, create a custom uh, plan designed specifically for your market or specifically for your business. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the plans manager. Now all the plans that have this little icon with the P next to it, these are all personalized plans. So these are all plans that were created um, by myself and I use different plans uh, for everything we do in real estate and, and in my consulting business. So um, all these are customized and what that does is it allows you a little bit more flexibility as far as what's in the plan and making it specific to what you what you want. So these are the action plans. There's also listing plans. So there's our custom listing plan. And then there's also closing plans. All these plans are available in my ebook, The Automated Agent. If you want to check that out, you can go to uh, agentbreakthrough.com and visit the store page. But what I want to do is let's create a new one. So I'm going to create a plan. Let's give it a name. And then we select what type of plan is it. An action plan would be anything that's specific to a lead follow-up, basically anything that's not associated with a listing or a closing. And then we've got the listing plan, which uh, would represent if you have a current listing on the market, and then obviously the closing plan. Um, the closing plans that we use are both for buyers and sellers. Listing plans, there's a couple different ways you could do it depending on what your market's like. If you're an REO agent, you could have your own REO listing plan. If you're a short sale agent, you could have your own short sale plan. Uh, or you could just have your traditional listing plan. So let's just do a basic action plan. So now this is the home page of the action plan. So you can see there's nothing in here. I don't have any, anything in this plan yet. So what I'm going to want to do is add activity. Now when I add an activity, I've got some options. I can have it be a to-do, a call, a letter, an envelope, a label, an email, or a postcard. Most of the plans that I work with are to-dos, calls, and emails. So those seem uh, to be the easiest to automate, and that's what we want to do is automate as much as we can. So let's go into an email, for example. Now your description could be something like email number one and then you would pick the date it's, you're going to send it out. So we'll say maybe day one. For, so that's one day after the plan's assigned. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff in here. Uh, select the category so I pick which category it's in. All these ones with the asterisks are all my own categories that I've created. So let's do a 36 touch. And then after you select the category, now it actually lets you select the emails. So I'll select that one. Now the neat part with the emails, you can actually select an attachment that will go out every single time. So if you have like a pre-listing email to go out you could have like your pre-listing survey to figure out what your clients are concerned about up front or like if you're doing short sales you could have your short sale package go out for any short sale lead so it's really endless you, you it's it's up to you and your imagination to de decide how you want to build these plans now this is one of my favorite features is the automated send if I select this that means that email will go out by itself without me having to manually do anything with it it just goes out on that assigned day as long as I have an email address which is great I mean it automates your business you're following up with leads in your sleep basically 
So once I hit add activity, now I'm back in the home screen and you can see that it's actually in there, the email's in there. So what I, if I wanted to add something on top of that, okay, I'll add in the next activity. And let's say the next activity, I want to make a phone call. So I will title this call number one. And I'm going to put three days from when that plan's assigned. Then I would select add activity. So now my two activities are in there. Now, when you are building these action plans, it's important to take a step back and figure out what the objective of that actual action plan is. Is it a, is it a prospecting tool, or is it a follow-up tool, or is it, you know, who who's it going to be geared towards? And I always like to work that equation backwards. So let's say we're doing a buyer prospect, and I want to, I want to extend it out 12 years. All right, great. How many touches do I want to have in those 12 years, or in those 12 months? And when you start working it backwards, um, you can then figure out um, how many contacts, how many calls, how many emails. So then you can really break down what happens each month and, and build your plan. So to, to build your custom plans, I think it's important to figure out your objective first, figure out how many contacts you want to have, the, sort, or the, the, type, or the ways you contact them, either call, email, or letter and how many of each of those types. So uh, for a buyer prospect uh, that's an internet lead, I might be heavier in the email follow-up versus mailing stuff and vice versa. If it's an expired, I might be heavier in the, the, uh, the letters versus emails. So you really can customize what you want to be able to do. Um, if you need help building plans, that's what I created the ebook for, The Automated Agent. It will provide a great skeleton for you to, to build off of, build your own custom plans in there, but it will give you a great roadmap. If you'd like more information on that, you can either email me, travis at agentbreakthrough.com, or you can just visit our website at agentbreakthrough.com. Uh, click on the store page if you're interested. Go ahead and sign up. Uh, you can, can pay right through PayPal and get that ebook delivered right to your, uh, to your desktop. I uh, hope you had a great time watching the video here and look forward to hearing from you soon. If there's anything else I can do to help, just please let me know.